Hello, this is AS Learning and to today we will be learning about Cloud Analyst. Cloud Analyst is a tool developed at University of Melbourne whose goal is to support evaluation of social networking tools according to geographic distribution of user bases and data centers. In cloud computing, the question arises how to deploy a cloud, how many requests are going to come to data center, where, the, where will be the most frequent user bases and what will be the cost of it. For dealing with these problems and having a complete analysis of the cloud computing of a firm or an organization, Cloud Analyst is a very useful tool. And today we will see how to download Cloud, An cloud Analyst tool. Open your browser and do a Google of Cloud Analyst tool download. The first link will be a wonderful blog by Mr. Munit Gupta. Uh, here we can see the link to, to download it. Just click on OK and, and a zip file will get downloaded. After, after extracting the zip file, uh, you will have a folder of the software. Uh, click on the Windows run, run batch file and the Cloud Analyst tool gets started. Uh, here we can see the world map. Uh, DC stands for Data Center. It's a facility that uh, centralizes an organization's IT operations on the data storage and its management. UB stands for User Base. It is a group of users sending requests to the data centers. The complete world is divided in six regions. Uh, region 0 stands for North America, uh, 1 for South America. And uh, let's do the configuration. Here we have three settings, main configuration, data center configuration and the advanced configuration, the advanced settings. Here we can choose the simulation uh, duration. We can add the user bases here. Uh, the region can be choose from here like a zero stands for North America. Uh, I will add one more from Australia. Then uh, here we have options like request per user, the a data size, the P cars and the other settings. We can add the, the number of data centers from here but first we need to do a configuration of it which we will be doing in this section here we can add the data centers as uh, we can choose the region the architecture here the os and etc as we can see that a dc1 has uh, two physical hardware units so we can add the units also here the vm policy like etc is explained we can copy it and remove it so we will just add one data center for uh, for us for our simplicity and that data center which we configured just now we will add it here once again okay uh, here we have the service broker policy now what exactly is the service broker policy is uh, when you request for something it passes through a broker when the user requests for something to a, a data center it passes through a broker and it decides where to actually forward it so you have options like the closest data center or the optimized response time. So we will just have the closest data center. And in the advanced settings, we have the simultaneously how many users from a single user base can send requests. Here we can choose the value. Then the, then the number of requests the data center can support. And we can choose our load balancing policy from here, like round robin, equally spread, current execution load. We can also add our own policy here. Back to the main configuration. Uh, you can save the configuration for a later users on, on our respective PCs and click, click on done. As we can see that we added two data centers which were in North America and we have uh, three user bases. Uh, let's perform the simulation. Uh, here we can see that 
the user bases are sending requests to the data centers and the maximum time the minimum time and the average time is calculated we can export the results by clicking on this option in the pdf form uh, yeah a complete graphical and analysis is done of the of the data centers and the user bases and also the cost is calculated for this complete process we can uh, manipulate the internet characteristics here we can manipulate the delay matrix the bandwidth matrix and th this is exactly how uh, cloud uh, cloud uh, cloud analyst software works uh, ho hope you like our video your suggestions are welcome please like subscribe to our channel as learning thank you and have a nice day